Hello and welcome back to GeForce. I'm Julian here with Ben Archer. We're going to talk about Metro Exodus. So there's a lot of interesting technical stuff you guys showed off during our live stream. We'll get into all that. First, though, tell us about Metro Exodus. Okay, so Metro Exodus is the latest in the in the Metro series after 2033 and Last Light. And it's now a way more ambitious project. So we've grown massively as a studio and we wanted to bring you something that was much, much bigger. We've migrated it out of the tunnels of the Metro and we're now taking the players on a continent-wide journey across Russia, across Asia, spanning an entire year through vast open world areas with hours of gameplay for them to experience. Now that we know what the game's about, I think really what we're here to talk about is the RTX technology yes. and how you guys are implementing it. And this is your forte, right? You're, you're all about the rendering. Yes. So what's this RTX tech and how are you guys implementing it? Okay, so RTX is a hardware accelerated method of doing real-time ray tracing. Now, ray tracing has been the holy grail of rendering right from the beginning. It allows us to implement in hardware actual physical modeling of the way that light behaves in the real world. So when a light ray propagates through the world, it can search the scene for whatever surface it needs to fall upon. There's no sort of approximations using light probes to say, ah, these surfaces should illuminate you in a certain way. No, now when we send a ray out into the scene, we get back information directly pertinent to what that light ray should have been bringing in and how that lighting information should directly illuminate a surface. So what's that doing for you now with Metro Exodus? Right, well, that's, that's doing a number of things. First of all, we've been able to implement a brand new global illumination system, RTG. And that gives us, for the first time, true, physically accurate, first bounce illumination. So what that means is that for any given surface, the incoming light rays, they are actually true to what will be happening in nature. So it's a real, true, physical simulation. The knock-on effect of that is that it allows us to have emergent details because the simulation is accurate. So our artists can set up a scene, they can bung in the direction of light, and they can see how that scene is illuminated realistically without hours of extra balancing with various light techniques. So this new tech actually, you know, imitates how light bounces around a room. What, what were you guys doing before? How did the technology work before RTX? Okay, so traditional lighting systems are a series of steps working together to build up a realistic lighting solution. So you have an array of various techniques that you tweak and balance, and then you combine them at the end to come up with the final image. What RTX enables us to do is merge those effectively because those are all simulations of a single facet of what actual lighting behavior does, whereas RTX is a proper model of the way lighting actually works. You know, now that Artem's venturing out into the world all the time, you're going to have the sun and the moon lighting up your scenes constantly. Yeah. You have a day-night cycle in Metro yeah. Exodus. It's kind of fortuitous timing that RTX becomes a thing right when Metro is sort of emerging from the tunnels, don't you think? Absolutely, yes. It does fit in very, very very well with the narrative of Metro Exodus and various other things. I mean, the way our engine has always been built, the APIs just fit in so well for us. And it's still a brilliant engine that was there to deliver, you know, high-end graphics, but now we can extend it even more with this new amazing piece of technology. Well, Ben, I think the people who've been following Archim for years now are really looking forward to Metro Exodus, and those who have an RTX card are going to get to see your work implementing the ray tracing technology. Thanks yeah. for talking yeah. to us today. Thank you very much, and we really hope that they enjoy it.